I just checked out a Marina Frappa Dubrovnik. Most expensive marina so far, I think. 80 euros, but it was it was nice. And they, people were, were friendly. I, I knew it was gonna be an expensive one. All right, nice breeze to start with. Dead downwind with the jib. And I think what we'll probably do, we'll see what happens when we get out there, but I'll probably just pull out the jib and we'll sail like that this trip, I'm thinking. I'm guessing it's like 90 miles to bar. I'm gonna meet my old, uh, this old, uh, Airbnb post I had. Maybe a stop along the way. Winds, it looked good at first glance, but then I looked at the gusts and it's supposed to be gusting up to 40 knots. But if it's downwind, hopefully it'll be okay. The waves don't get too big. It's kind of peaks around midnight, which is always a fun time to be dealing with. Uh, very, very strong conditions. Man, we're, we're moving quite along. Pretty good, but I'll set up my, um, my little tarp plotter thing. Sailproof. Okay. Put this little tether on too. Oh, I think I need a hat too. All right, what's it say? 3.8 knots. Start. Home. Got battery. Awesome. And I think my batteries on the boat are full. What's it say? 100%. Yep. Two days of good sun, and two nights on the trickle charger. And I actually turned the fridge on in the middle of last night because I saw it was getting like 98%. So get it somewhere for the amps to go. Norwegians. Saying gust from 35 to 45 knots. It's even windier. Well, right now I've got a full jib out and we're doing six knots. I'll probably start rolling it in a little bit. Maybe in an hour or so. Actually, maybe I'll put a little bit in now just to not have it all out. So far, conditions uh, are pretty nice. The wind's just been behind us, but now we got to go in between these islands and uh, that will expose us a little bit more. So get a little choppier. Just, just kind of duck him through here. Maybe kind of a beam reach and then back onto the broad reach. And I've got to cross this kind of little open stretch here to mulet. Mulet, I guess. Mulet. Mulet, I think it's called. Shh. Shh. And uh, this area is National Park. So I think it's 25 euros to get in and then like another 30 years so to anchor uh but the national park i think it ends right here so i think i'd probably rather end up going down here anyway because it'll be dark and i don't really need to see the beautiful national park when it's dark <laughs> but i heard it's good but i think we'll probably skip it this time maybe on the way back i've seen a lot of the kind of similar stuff i think so far and then yeah then maybe tomorrow we'll see if we can sail on the rest of the way maybe maybe a stop in here and then maybe a bar And then I've already been to Split before, so I think I'll probably skip that and go to, where's uh, Zadar, there we go, maybe Zadar. Maybe a few more stops in there on these outside islands. Maybe Zadar, maybe not, I don't know. And there's one other one, right? Is it in our town? I don't know. I haven't decided I'm going to do Sylvania. So yeah, we're into the, Shop now. See the camera, the white caps and stuff. Kind of lost our forward momentum, and now we're drifting in towards these rocks here. I think we'll have just enough to push past it, and then we can turn a little more downwind, and then hopefully, hopefully I don't <laughs> fall in the water. 
jerky. Wave, uh, just hit it so hard it cracked when my beer is open. It starts spraying everywhere, so I guess cheers. <clears throat> That's almost five o'clock. I wish it was just one of the ones that was cold in the fridge. <laughs> that one that was sitting out warm. These waves aren't really all that big. They're only two to three feet, but they're very close together and hitting us right on the side. <clears throat> they're kind of white capping too. So sometimes they just like roll under, but then the top sprays water on the boat. Six knots. All right, looks like I picked a good bay. Completely flat in here, and not too much wind either. So pretty well protected so far. Got our mooring here. Did it on the back. The boat easily swings around last, I think, from the back. So hopefully that'll let us sleep a little better tonight. And took the halyard over from the mainsail so it doesn't flop around when the wind picks up. Anything else I need to do? I think we're okay. No one else really here. I saw a fishing boat or a little rowboat. Okay, it's the next morning. I, sp I spent the night here and uh, it got a little windy, but not too much. Maybe like 25, gusting to 25 was all. Now it's pretty calm. I can see little bits of ripples outside there, but not a whole lot. So I think maybe it's calmed down. I wonder if I should have just sailed through the night. It's kind of a nice spot, I suppose. No other boats came to take our money. Oh, the flag. Likes moving a little bit over there, so maybe there's a little wind. No other boats came, and no, no one came to try to collect any money from me. Apparently, the ones on the other side of this rock wall you gotta pay for. Uh, but these ones you have to just visit the restaurant, but the restaurant was closed, so no restaurant. Nice thing about moorings is I don't have to pull up the anchor, just drop the mooring line. The uh, annoying thing is the mooring ball. If, as the wind switches, sometimes your boat bumps it, bumps into your, it bumps into your boat, and it goes bump, 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 in the night, and that's kind of annoying. All right, I'm using a little boost for the motor just so we don't run into the rocks. Uh, oh, there's a little town. Well, much more, much more mooring buoys over here. I think there's a, there's a price structure for yellow ones versus orange ones. Uh, occasionally people complain because I, I say the price of stuff, which I don't really know why because a lot of people I think appreciate knowing the cost because people are maybe interested in cruising themselves. That's why I mention the price. It's not, I mean, I am cheap, but I'm not mentioning the price of everything just because that's how cheap I am. I'm saying it because people, that, that's the, probably one of the most common things I get asked for is how much everything costs. So that's why I mention the price of things in my videos. And, and I am cheap, so if I have an excuse to complain about it, that's fine. But. You just gotta accept that it's gonna cost you a little bit of money to do some things. And if you don't wanna spend the money, you can, you know, anchor or get other ways around it. But um, it's good It's good to know at least what you're getting into. So you can decide if you wanna pay it or be cheap. This morning is for breakfast, making some spam and eggs and uh, rice. Oh yeah, what a treat. Now we're moving. 12 knots of wind. I mean, 15 now, 15 knots of wind. Sweet, that's perfect conditions. It's 5.8 knots. And how far to go? 22 miles to go. How far we go? We got, we got almost two, two nautical miles, and I think maybe we anchor here for a few hours. Let me see if I can get uh, maybe dinner. And then to VAR. So I've killed another autopilot. This will be my, I think I've, I've, I've killed, this This is the third Simrad of autopilot. I've had, no, I, I've, I've killed two of these. This is the second one I've killed and I killed one Raymarine version. I mean, I didn't do anything, they just stopped working. Um, this one, they always still work. 
it's just like the brain goes crazy. So this one will just, you put it on autopilot and it just goes either full in or full out. I try resetting it. Uh, I even had tape over all the, you know, electronic bits to try to protect it. My customer support is super lousy. I tried to get the last one fixed and they just told me it'd be $700 for a new one. Okay, I'm gonna forget about the autopilot and just try to fix the action on my ukulele. All right, back installed. Action's now at, at uh, three, is that three millimeters? And we are sailing. So we've got this island here in Croatia. What's it called? Jangia or Malor, Mo, Malo or more. Or more, more. And uh, yet over there. All right. Wind has been pretty good. I did put the uh, first reef in the main just to kind of balance out the sails. A little bit of weather helm going on. And now we're coming up on the next uh, island. Last island. There. New island. Here. Uh, we're gonna shoot through these islands. The wind is shifting a little bit. We'll go through these islands and we'll find a good place to anchor. Uh, walk around the town for an hour. And here we see where we are. Where the heck are we? I don't know. We're here. So we'll go up to there. Anchor. Two and a half miles. Oh, wind's picking up a little bit. There's birds. There's darn birds. Okay, this island's getting in our way, so we might have to pull out the um, the road, the wheels, and oh, no, we could just tack our way up that way. That also would work. Are we going to clear the island? Maybe. Now we are. But then the wind shifts, and then we're not. And then it shifts again, and we are. Ah, we just cleared it. Yes. Look at that. No, was there ever any doubt? Was there ever any doubt? I think the next island we can go. Oh, we gotta we go. Hmm. Should we go this way or this way? Yeah, we're already going as high as we can. Let's 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 go down through here. Yeah, down through there and then down through there. Okay. Here's the little town on the island. I think I might blow up the dinghy, go for a walk. It's got a nice wall. Oh, look at that sky. Oh my gosh. It's so purple. That's what I'm looking for. You do. And then...